one of my frat brothers, that's a fellow gospel rapper, um, he told me today that um, I found out back in November that Lecrae and Reach Records and their founder, they had took 116 and Jesus off of their website. They took 116 and they took Jesus off of their website, off of reachrecords.com. And I went, I Googled it because I, I didn't know how true it was. I hadn't heard about it before. And um, I went on yahoo.com and put that in. And then it pulled up Rapzilla. And it pulled up the um, the article about it. And I read the full article about the situation, about them doing that. And um, Lecrae ended up, basically it showed the old um, mission statement that they had. And it also showed, hey, what's up, Steve? What's up, Steve Bercy123? It also showed the new mission statement that they had. Of course, the old mission statement was Everybody preaches about something in their music. Um, 116. One, um, 116. And everybody talks about Jesus. Intellect 3 and 1. What's up? What's up, fam? I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm talking about how back in November, this, this past November, um, Reach Records took off Jesus and they took off... 116 off of their website. And um no, I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. They took that off of their website. And it really concerns me because I, I usually I usually don't I usually don't say nothing about what Lecrae and them doing. I see a lot of people getting in debates about reach records and stuff all the time online and all that. Um but I usually don't say nothing because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to judge these cats. I don't know. Maybe God telling them to do that. But what I do know is scripture states that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. I know that's, I know that's what scripture says. You know what I'm saying? And um, they not lifting up. If they taking Jesus off of um, their website, the name of Jesus, and they taking 116 off of their website. Not surprised, bro. The slide is always subtle. Yeah, man. It's, I don't know. Well, I do know. I know, I know what the word says. And I mean, that's all I can go by. You know what I'm saying? 116 was their whole mantra forever. I started Listening to 116 back in the day, um, Lecrae, the guy that discovered me, Mike D, he told me about Lecrae at the time. I didn't really know about it. Matter of fact, somebody when I was in college told me about Lecrae. Um, this guy in this Christian fraternity, Gamma Phi Delta, told me about him when he found out I did gospel rap. And, you know, it was, I went, I bought, um, I remember the first Lecrae album I bought was, um, speak, speak, something about speak. They had he had the red tape over his mouth. I don't know why I can't remember the name of that CD now. But it was back in oh oh six, I believe. It was after the music stops. That's the one it was. After the music stops, that's the Lecrae CD I bought the first one, and I was just so motivated and so on fire from hearing this dude. Man, he was really spitting the word and talking about Christ. He kind of got me back started doing gospel rap and I mean he was doing a big a big thing in that whole 116 under shame and all that that was all over the CD matter of fact after that I bought his first CD that he had with cross movement which was called um real talk that was the name and they had a song on there called sold out and all that been hip to the Christ since that album since which one since um um after the music stopped so I since real talk 
Um, I know I got I got hip to him when when on um, real real after the music stops came out. Then I went back and backtrack and bought um yeah yeah the after the music stops album that was real hot. That's when he was just spitting straight scriptures, straight fire. He was on fire for God, you know what I'm saying? And, and he really motivated me because I had kind of stopped doing gospel rap in college. And Rebel was on another level, but I I really did Crimson Clay 361. Yeah, Rebel was on another level. I really did like, are you surprised? The Cray changing his focus. No, not, not really. I'm not necessarily surprised because I've been watching it happen. But the fact that they that he took off um Jesus in 116 is really concerning me. All other stuff he was doing, I right, whatever. They were still claiming 116. He was still saying Jesus and all that on his songs, which was cool. That, that was cool. But when you take that off your website, I take an issue with that because it's like yo, yo, unashamed thing like educator told me one time. Um, when I was rolling with him, he said, your unashamed thing is becoming unashamed. I mean, becoming ashamed. Your unashamed thing is becoming ashamed. That's that's what's going on. That's what seemed like it's happening because they trying to hide the fact that they rep in Christ and that they 116, Romans 116, for I'm not unashamed, I'm unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ um, and taking Jesus off, they web, off of the About Me section on their website that's that's con that's concerning that's concerning because like i said he's jesus said if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto me and i don't know i think it might be because he trying to get more attention um trying to fit in because a lot of them they saying that god's christian rap is corny and all this kind of stuff, you know, they they went on record for saying all this stuff. But I find it hard to believe when you got your start doing Christian rap, you got your start with Cross Movement. And Cross Movement was one of the hottest groups out back in the day, back in like the early millennium. They were one of the reasons I got started doing gospel rap. They used to play gospel rap at um at the church I went to, at New Light Christian Center. They had a DJ and they used to spin gospel rap all the time and that motivated me. And Lecrae was on that label, and of course Reach was his label, but he kind of introduced a lot of his artists like Trip Lee and Tadashi, which is who he had at first on his label. Um, he introduced them, and they used to do collabs with the Cross Movement artists, Fanatic and all them. And now they kind of saying, "I'm not a, I'm not a Christian rap. I'm, I'm a hip hop artist and all this kind of stuff." But uh, I want to know. I mean, I'm asking y'all because I'm posing the question. Since they took that off in November, I mean, do you still consider them to be unashamed? You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to judge them or nothing, but they, it just really concerns me that they're taking it off and that the music is becoming even more and more. Um, you can't really tell. They more like conscious rappers now than, than Christian rappers or gospel rappers. I'm not hearing a lot of scripture and things like that in the lyrics. Like like was on Rebel, like, like the young man stated. Or like um was on some of the other songs. Is he the only one out of his affiliates that is changing? No, he's not the only one. Um Trip Lee also said that, you know, the stuff about Christian rap and them being hip hop. Andy Minio always saying this is another thing my frat brother showed me today that do gospel rap. He showed me where Andy Minio was in a debate. Fame is a deceptive thing. It, de it definitely is. Like the bigger they done got. They didn't, they kind of shine away a little bit, saying this to bring more people to the kingdom so that they won't turn it down and say that Christian rap is corny. But I mean, it don't matter. Let me, let me speak, speak, speak for myself. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't look like a rapper right now. I got my, my work clothes on. Y'all know I teach band and all that stuff. I'm a high school band director. I just wanted to get on and talk today. You know what I'm saying? Be real, be transparent. Um, all the time I'm online, you know what I'm saying, connecting with different people all the time. And they tell me, man, I don't listen to Christian rap. I don't, I don't even like Christian rap, but your stuff jam. I like your music and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm spitting. If you've ever heard any of my albums, I'm talking about Jesus the whole time. Every song almost talks about Jesus or some talking about Christianity, righteous morals or, or something positive. You know what I'm saying? That needs, I'm, I'm not trying to hide nothing. 
and people people listen to it, gaining the platform, then not delivering God's message. Yeah, I don't I don't really understand that because they started out as Christian rappers. They started out saying that they was Christian rappers, repping Christ. I mean, they were on fire for Christ. You know what I'm saying? All the time, just on fire. I mean, it was, I don't know. It motivated, like I said, it motivated me. It motivated a whole lot of people that's doing gospel rap. I bet if we take a poll right now of all the thousands of gospel rappers out there around the world, I bet you they'll say they were motivated by them. For reach, 116 is not useful anymore. That says a lot to me. Right, man. Right, 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 right. It does, it does say a lot. And what, what exactly does it say? What exactly does it say to you? That's not useful to them anymore. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I mean, that's, that's powerful in itself. 116 is a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know, man. It was just, it's, it's, it's disappointing that they trying to be more hip hop. They say they more hip hop. And the tripped out thing about it is Lecrae got his Grammy. For gospel, you know what I'm saying? And then he kind of downs it. But once he got that Grammy, that opened up a whole lot of doors for this brother. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be at the level he had now if he didn't get that Grammy. People really started, you know what I'm saying, taking him seriously. And once he got that platform, it's like, it's, it's like they don't need it no more. They just want to be um, kind of like sect lawyers. That's what it seems like to me. They're ducking questions about 116 and Dominio. Etc. Oh, so they haven't really addressed it. I mean, like I said, I just found out. I just found out today because I don't really be on Rapzilla like that. Or any of them sites for that matter. You know what I'm saying? I don't really just be on them sites at all. I'm not going to diss them sites. They have their purpose and all that jam hype and, and Rapzilla, but I'm not on them. So when somebody told me about it, of course I looked it up. And I was surprised that Rapzilla put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? I was surprised Rapzilla put kind of put him on blast for saying that. Fill the rule. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that actually had um wrote the article. If you go online and you type it in, you'll see it. I would not be surprised if things start going unfavorable for him. Can't be ashamed of God. Yeah, all I do, I prayed for the brother when I found out and I was leaving work. I was like saying all this stuff, but then like I've done in the past when Lecrae and um all them get under fire and start start kind of denying, denying the faith and all that kind of stuff. Not denying the faith, ain't denying the faith, I ain't going to say that, but kind of start talking about I'm not a gospel rapper, I'm not a Christian rapper. Essentially, that's what I see it as, but um I pray for I pray for him. Every time I see him do that, I end up praying for him because I don't want them to fall, but when you start doing stuff like that, it's dangerous. I hear a lot of Christian rap artists say they are not Christian rappers now. Yeah, I mean, I've been hearing it for a while too, and I, I don't, I don't understand it. I'm uh, furious, man. Well, what, why you think? Why you think people doing that? Why you think they doing? Why you think they saying they're not Christian rappers? Because I, I don't think, I don't think it's necessary to say you're not a Christian rapper in order to reach people in the world. We reach people in the world all the time as Christian rappers saying we Christian rappers. You know what I'm saying? I, kn I know I have. I know you have. Following a trend instead of God. Exactly. Because it's like reach records is like the top as far as gospel rappers concerned. And the truth I think about it is they don't even want to claim that they gospel rappers. But they are the forefront. Whether we like it or not, they are the forefront of they the face of Christian rap. Are you a Christian rapper? Of course, of course, I'm a Christian rapper. Matter of fact, I got a song on my album that's called Christian Rapper. You know what I'm saying? And I actually, I want to spit some of the bars from it right now because I'm going to be honest. I did the song with Lecrae and them in mind. I had read something Trip Lee said. And I ended up writing the song. I was motivated to write that song based on when Triple E was saying that he's not a Christian rapper. Which is hard for me because Triple E my favorite one out the camp. You know what I'm saying? Triple E my favorite one. Triple E go hard. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. You know what I'm saying? To me, he has a unique style, a unique sound, a unique delivery, all that. 
But he started saying that last year, and it, 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 it really motivated me to say this. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to spit it like poetry right now. Because, I mean, that's, that's how I'm feeling. All right. I'm a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-E-N-R-A-P-P-E-R. -E Proud of it, we don't cover it, we illuminate solar. The fact that some don't want to wear the label, that is bizarre. We are fishers of men finding our family so nor. To Christ, you're not a Christian rapper when you fill them holes. He chose to take for you in his body when he bled and rose. When he posed on publications, I oppose some views you stating. Some of what you stating seem to be proposed by Satan. You proclaim you unashamed, but you ashamed to claim his title. Just understand for everything you say, you will be liable. Read your Bible. The statements you're saying not justifiable. You're not a Christian rapper, says to me, you're not reliable. For the kingdom, we gotta feed them. Christian rapper, caviar. For their freedom, we need them. No be a heat, don't go too far. They may label me a hater, but I'm a waiter for someone greater. Serving for my savior, I walk in favor for him, I labor. And you know what I'm saying? That, that's just how I'm feeling right now, you know what I'm saying? It's a song on my album. I mean, I had, I had to get, I had to get that out. It was like, originally, I, I appreciate that. All glory go to God, none to me. Originally, you know, Reach used to talk about we not about the money, God. They was against prosperity teaching. I, I appreciate that, bro. They was against prosperity teaching. So, you know what I'm saying? I addressed that on, on my last album. And now they, they talking about they not Christian rappers no more. I don't, I don't understand it, man. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Like, I'm just posing a question. I pose the question on all my social media sites, on Instagram, on Twitter, on here, on, um, well, on Facebook. Nothing wrong with prosperity. No, no, it's not. I mean, the Bible talks about prosperity. God don't want his people struggling. I mean, don't, he don't want his people struggling. And of course, if you notice, they don't speak against prosperity anymore. Reach Records artists do not speak against prosperity anymore because if they did, that would be hypocritical because they're making millions of dollars because they're selling millions of records. They're on top of the billboard choice. So they can't really talk talk down on prosperity anymore. And, and oh, back back to my point, my frat brother um had told me um about how Andy Minio was on Twitter today. He was talking about cussing and how cussing is not... It's not bad to cut sing your songs. He was saying how a song cannot be Christian. A song is um not religious or something like that. That's not prosperity gospel. What's not prosperity gospel? I I know you don't really like prosperity gospel. I remember that from when I was working at, <laughs> working with you back in the day at, at Rosa Parks. But I appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, Mr. Portier, John Portier. Good to see you, man. Yeah, the, the cussing in the... I want to talk about that, too. Like, what's y'all thoughts on cussing in music? And people, a lot of people like to say that cussing has been made wrong by our opinions or the way we were raised or whatever. Andy Mino was trying to justify cussing on Twitter today. I read the thread my frat brother sent to me. And it, it concerns me because this is a gospel rapper. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this a gospel rapper. Well, he don't call himself a Christian rapper. Prosperity gospel is the ability to say that if you follow Jesus, that your financial troubles will be done. We should be prosperous. Will we'll be done. Nah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I mean, I don't believe that there's certain things that you have to that that you have to do that have to line up with the word of God in order for you to even be able to to partake in that. Yeah, it's not it's not the same. It's not the exact same. You're right. It's not it's not the same. But um, once he said he's not a Christian rapper, he was on an NBC show. I think Jimmy Kemp. That's right. He sure was. He sure was. So. You think they pushing away Christianity to get more exposure. Well, saying they Christians to get more exposure. But I don't think we should have to do that. To me, that's to me, I hate to say it, but that's selling out to get more exposure. But I remember one time I was on um I was on YouTube. Some of y'all might have saw the video. But Lecrae was on there 
And it showed him rapping with somebody. He was at some type of spring jam or something like that with a lot of secular artists. And they was rap they was rapping and he did his verse or whatever. Then after he did his verse, this other cat came on there. And Lecrae verse was clean or whatever. It was God glorifying. And then the other cat came on there. He was bobbing. Lecrae was back there bobbing his head, which is kind of a way to say, I agree with what you're saying or whatever. And this dude was cussing. He was degrading women, talking down on them and all kind of stuff. And Lecrae just back there smiling and the, the tight lyrics and all that kind of stuff. He was just like agreeing. What is the point goal of gospel artists? I think the point or the goal of gospel artists is to first, first of all, give an alternative to a lot of the trash that's on the radio, um, because a lot of that stuff is is not glorifying God. It doesn't line up with the word of God. So it gives a positive and Christian alternative to a lot of that music. But he's mixing it up with the sinners. Isn't that the point? Um. Isn't what the point? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna get to that question. And the other, the other, the other thing about gospel artists is you're supposed to represent Christ through your music. It's to win souls to the kingdom. That's the that's the purpose of gospel. It's to win souls to the kingdom first of all, and it's also to provide a form of Christian entertainment for for Christians or what or what or what have you. Um, you said that isn't it the point to mix it up with sinners? No, nah, it ain't mix it up. Like, what you mean by mix it up? Have to be careful what you feed your spirit. Right. That's exactly why gospel gospel music is out. It ministers. It's out there. We we are here to minister the word through music. That's that's what we here to do. That's what gospel artists are, are here to do. Um, mixing it up with sinners. That's that's different. Like, you can't be sitting up there like, okay, I'm I'm good with everything you're saying. I love to do music and just make music that reflects my lifestyle. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I do, too. I agree with that. I agree with that. Music that reflects our lifestyle. And that's 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 what I do also. Yeah, I mean, we talk about our life, like what we go, what goes on in our life. And I think that's what everybody everybody should do. And because we are Christians, we talk about. Christian stuff because we about that word. We about what's going on in the Bible from a biblical perspective. We about that. We look at our world from a biblical point of view or through a biblical lens. So we talk about that. And there's a lot of things you can talk about in in the gospel or as a Christian artist or whatever. You can talk about life. Let's see. I'm not saying you agree with Kanye's lyrics, but if you have a chance to get in the inner circle to influence him to influence him mm. I think you kind of go into my um post earlier on Facebook that I had put this is what this was sparked all this was the Kanye West Kirk Franklin thing. That's what sparked all of it. Then my frat brother let me know about the whole thing about Andy Mino with the cussing and all that. Because I didn't know if Kanye Aren't you going to do that if you don't sacrifice your morals? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Look, if you don't sacrifice your morals, I don't see a problem with doing with doing songs with secular artists as long as those songs are positive and God glorifying and beliefs, as long as they line up with your belief system. Exactly. If the song lines up with your belief system and they God glorifying, then it's okay to do a song with secular artists. I give y'all a story. My brother, Vic, um, he go by Flash. She's been on several of my songs. Sorry, prayers. Oh, I know, I know, bro. I understand. That's why I'm waiting. Um, my brother was on Gospel Step. But before before Gospel Step, my brother was a secular artist. Conversation is choppy. Yeah, I know, man. I understand. My brother was a secular artist. He was on, um, y'all heard gospel stuff before. He used to rap in the clubs. He used to be, man, you would hear his CD. You heard all kind of cussing and vulgar stuff. Also, he was in a group with Ozone. My brother was. Ozone is in, in the new cool. Some of y'all familiar with that group, the new cool. They got a lot of stuff going on right now. Him and, um, Barrow. 
Um, they went in a group together. I was on my brother and this cat named Messiah. That was, that was his name, but they were secular artists. They was rapping in the clubs and stuff. I did the song with my brother. I did. I asked my brother to do gospel stuff with me. You know, even though he was a secular artist, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was sound good on the song. And as a result of my brother doing gospel stuff with me, that inspired my brother to start doing gospel rap. Because of the influence of him doing that, doing a gospel song with me. So I believe that it could work like that. But my brother didn't get on gospel step cussing and degrading women. He got on gospel step talking about the Lord. Talking about gospel. The gospel. Talking about biblical stuff. That's what my brother got on the song doing. If my brother would have got on the song cussing and talking down on women and all that kind of stuff, then I would have been like, nah, bro, we can't do this song together. Paul Wall was on the crazy album. Right, Paul Wall was on the crazy album. And on the song that Paul Wall did on the crazy album, I believe it was Church Closed too. the stuff wasn't negative. They were talking about cars and stuff, which is okay. You don't always got to, everything don't have to be, you know, about scripture, scripture, scripture. As a Christian, you have to be careful. Can you post that again? I, I missed it. I, I missed that. Paul Wall, yeah, he was on that song, and I think that was a positive song that they did together on Church Clothes, too. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Let it whip. Right, exactly. Nothing was wrong with that song. That song was cool. I mean, it was, it was cool. That's the type of crit, um, songs that Christian artists should do with secular artists. And back in the day, Mary Mary did a song with, um, what's that dude's name? I forgot. I forgot the dude's name. Um, Y'all know who I'm talking about. Though. Mary Mary did a song with... A secular artist back in the day. This this was way back, and the song was positive. He got on there. He got on there rapping about. I believe he got on there rapping about God and rapping about Christ. But it wasn't nothing negative. But this was a secular artist who rapped about the secular stuff on a regular basis, which that's okay. But when you got, I listened to the um Kanye West and Kurt Franklin song, and um. I didn't hear, I didn't hear Kurt Frank. They see Kurt Frank and talk at the end of it. But I hear him on the side note. Come on, Lecrae. Three version of church clothes. Now, he has, he has three out. Three is already out. I actually bought church clothes three the night it came out. I've only listened to it about two times because honestly, I think church clothes one is the best church clothes. And while we're on the topic, I would like to say that gravity to me is Lecrae's best album artistically now his best album scripturally is um his best album scripturally was after the music stops i still go back and listen to that from time to time i know some people will say rebel but personally i didn't think that rebel was better than church club i mean better than um after the music stops what do you think about secular artists singing gospel songs at concerts Ooh, that's an interesting question um I don't look. I don't see nothing wrong with that because pray it's praising the Lord, it's glorifying God, it's praising the Lord and it's glorifying God. God said, "If you don't praise me, I'll make the rocks cry." So in that moment, they praising the Lord. Anomaly was okay, but I think I thought it was a step back from gravity, honestly. Yeah, I don't see I don't see nothing wrong with secular artists singing singing gospel, gospel songs. I mean, that might influence them. You know what I'm saying? That may singing those those songs may influence them to to be like, hey, you know you know what? I can do this. I can sing for the Lord. I can represent Christ, and I can do this. Like I said, with my brother, it influenced him to start doing gospel rap. Um, Ozone was doing gospel rap, I think, a while before, um, but then he started doing secular. Then he started doing gospel again from the new cool. You know what I'm saying? And they really, them brothers are really doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? They really reckon they, they music jams, all that. You know what I'm saying? New cool, new cool is what's up. Them boys go hard. Everybody know, y'all know they go hard. <laughs> they got, they still be jamming. But like, they came from doing secular artists. Everyone has to start from somewhere, right? Exactly. Cause I mean, and some of y'all might have, some of y'all might have, thank you. Some of y'all might have started out doing secular rap. But all white folks can't hold in this convo. We just say, um, Toby Mac. <laughs> You'll be surprised, man. It's a lot of, um, most seem like the majority of Christian rap fans are, are, um, of another, of another race. Uh, it's a lot of them that support 
that support on um, Christian rap. Lecrae's fan, like Lecrae had a lot of his concerts and a lot of the Reach Records concerts. A lot of those concerts are held that were held at white churches. And the majority of the people in the audience are, are white people. To be honest, I mean, that's just the real. That's 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 real. Man, I was about to say something. I, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Oh, I know what I was about to say. Furious, I don't, I don't know if you did and other gospel rappers on here or not. Maybe y'all can chime in. What do you think about those preacher shows? We getting off topic. <laughs> ah. I don't got nothing. I'm not saying nothing about them preacher shows. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you look back at history, if you look back at history, a lot of white people and people of other races always always has like um a lot of black music. Well, music of black origin because you can't call it black music anymore because a lot of people are doing it now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have always liked that type of music. If you go back, if you go way back to the beginning of time. So I think that's kind of, that kind of has carried through. And I mean, on, on the same coin, I mean, there's a lot of black people that like a lot of white artists. So music is a, is a language that's universal. So I already think race matters. It's just that that music speaks to that individual, whoever that individual is. You know what I'm saying? People flock to what, what speaks to them and what, you know, what they, what they like. Um, I know I was going to say, I started out as a secular artist. I wasn't doing shows or nothing like that. But when I was, um, in high school and stuff, I wrote some vulgar stuff. You know what I'm saying? I didn't write a lot of cussing. I used to write about being a player and all this kind of stuff and rap that. When I was eight, I was writing gangster rap, you know, talking about killing people and all that crazy stuff as an eight year old. That's crazy. But that was what was hot and was on the radio back then. So I know a lot of y'all. You know, a lot of other artists, you know, they can kind of attest to that. You start off doing secular, and then the Lord convicts you, and then you start using your talent for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But you can't go backwards. You can't use your talent for the Lord and then then go back and start, you know, straying away from doing, God, doing gospel music and doing gospel rap. I don't think that's right. I just read in, I, I believe it was St. Peter, um, Second Peter tonight, I just read about, you know, going back to, to, to your vomit or whatever, like a person that's saved and then they go back to their old ways. You know, that's like a dog going back to his throw up or his slop or like a pig going back to the slop and rolling in the mud when they were already clean. And the word says it was better for that person to never had even known, um, known Christ. Because it's going to be worse, worse on them. That's in Second Peter, I believe it's chapter 2. I actually just read that tonight. And I mean, let's just listen to Master P on the real when I was in high school, when I got saved. I did too, preach. I was a gangster rapper before I did 10 years in federal prison. Right, exactly. A lot of us start out doing secular rap. I mean, I don't really know any gospel rappers that started out doing gospel rap. I still wanted to rap, so I found 116 and Reach. Exactly. But what what do you think about what they're doing? About them taking 116 and taking Jesus off of their um about about me section on their website? I mean, what are your views on that? Does that kind of disappoint you a little bit that they did that? Because I mean, I know it disappointed me. I got all the Cray albums, all his projects. If he came out with it, I got it. It's in my phone, it's, it's in my CD case. I think it's watering down in a way to reach more uh more global audience. But I don't I don't think you have to do that though. Do you do you feel that that's necessary? Because I, I don't I don't feel like it's necessary, but I mean everybody has their opinion. Taking down the about me doesn't mean there won't be the preaching still. Yeah, it don't mean that. It don't mean that. But I mean, when you getting on there, it's only it's only their website, right? But you should still, I feel like you should still talk, you should still put Jesus on your website, you still put 116 on your website because your whole thing, what they built their their premise on, what they built their fame on was 
Romans 1, 1, 6. I'm unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. People got tattoos. They got it tattooed all over them. You know what I'm saying? Elson Nails rapping. They got a song with some cats cannon and, um, they got 116 click and pro, which is now Derek Minor. I know he's not with the label no more, but it went 116. One, one, six. Some of y'all may remember that song or whatever. It jammed. You know what I'm saying? And now they taking that away and they talking about on top of that, they saying we not Christian artists. We not Christian rappers. We rappers that's Christian. But they are taking Jesus out of their music. Exactly. If you listen to their music now and you go back and listen to their music from, let's say, 2006 or 2007. It's a complete difference. You might hear Jesus once or twice on their entire album. Now, when back in the day, you still Jesus all the time. You can't transform lives without being direct. Exactly, because then people can take it for what they want. I, I feel like that. I, I do believe that people can take it and use it for Muslim. People can take and use it for Hindu. But wouldn't you say your music evolved? My music evolved, but I mean, I'm still talking about Jesus. I feel like it got better from a lyricist standpoint or in delivery and writing ability got better, but it still got the same message. It's still rep repping Christ. Now, since I'm older and been through more things, I do talk about more adult things or whatever, or things that, that are, that's real to my life that help other people. But when I was 21, 22, 20, writing the standard, my music evolved, but my message don't. Exactly. Lyrically, it's not at face forward. What that mean? Can you kind of expound on that? Lyrically, it's not at face forward. I don't get it. <laughs> um, Like I said, they can use it for, if you're not direct talking about Jesus, and talking about the scriptures and things that line up with the word of God, which I'm not saying they aren't. My music is, I would say, if you're talking about my music, you're talking about Lecrae and the music. Lecrae and the music not is in your face. There, there are more social issues and how they are related to Christ now in Lecrae's lyrics. Yeah, he's talking about social issues, but it is not necessarily always relating back to Christ to me per se when I hear his new stuff I don't really take it like that it don't really all the time some stuff does but a lot of stuff is kind of like a con he's kind of like a conscious rapper like a common or to live quali or a um who else most deaf somebody like that you know what I'm saying more so than um a, a Christian artist or a gospel artist talking about this is how this relates to the word and things like that. All that positive stuff, Common and Talil, Kweli and all them, they got parental advisory stickers on their stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for the day when, when we going to hear them cussing. Since Andy Minio was sitting up there saying that it's okay to cuss in your, in your music because cuss words were man-made. And who's to say that they were talking about cussing was wrong in the Bible? That's what he said on Twitter. They are providing... To a switch foot model. A switch foot model. I don't really know. Switch. I mean moving to a switch foot model. What's a switch foot model exactly? When I think about switch foot, I'm I'm thinking about guitar pedals and stuff. Because my dad played guitar. But he changed the switch foot was a Christian back in the day. Like a Christian rock band or something like that. I think I think I heard it. It's a Christian rock band. If it's a Christian rock band, I might have heard of them. Now they are generic rock. Exactly. Or like um corn. Wasn't corn doing gospel at one point? Christian rock at one point or something like that. I mean, I don't I don't condone it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I don't know. I don't I don't condone it. I don't condone it. Now, Furious Family Force 5. They started out like that. I think I heard that song before, yeah. Family Force 5, they started out in that model that, like, switch for my, you talking about. Somebody started out like that, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But you can't start out 
gospel, 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 Christian rap, I am unashamed, I am unashamed, and start stripping away the Christian stuff. I just, I, I can't get with that. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't get with that. But, um, I mean, I hope y'all, I enjoyed the conversation because I kind of wanted to get all this off my chest. You know what I'm saying? And that, I, I, yeah, I wanted to get all this stuff off my chest. I appreciate y'all being on here. But I'm going to go on ahead and go. Me too, man. Yeah. Good, good talking to you. Money and fame has to be the motive of their changes. I know fame is. I know for sure fame is. They got a lot of money. They trying to reach more people. They try, Really, what I think it is, is they trying to be more um, mainstream. All right, man, go Ridge. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. Tomorrow I'll be at the Ridge. They're, they trying to be more mainstream now. Because traditionally gospel artists, gospel rappers were not played on. And they still really not. On internet radio, they play us with secular artists and all that. But um, on like mainstream stations like 97.9 and the beat and all that kind of stuff, they not they not playing us. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they trying to do. I think they trying to get on the. But all right, then, y'all. I'm going to holler. I think that's why they doing it, because they trying to get on those secular stations. But, yeah. All right, then. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed this deep discussion. I'm going to share it and all that good stuff so people can catch the replay later on. And always remember, only what you do for Christ will last. And the righteous in faith increase abundantly. All right, later.